what's your comfort level going into this season as a starter compared to last season as a starter? Uh, I'm really comfortable, and I think it helps that we're kind of in the second year of our development process. Uh, Marquez, in his second year, we got some uh, guys that have some experience um, at every position. So uh, that, that helps with my comfort level a lot. Justin, you talked about how you wanted to be more of a leader this year because of the younger roster and stuff like that, being your second year. What were some of the ways you kind of went out of your way to kind of show that leadership during the offseason? Uh, I mean, just organizing some things. Uh, we had a, a cookout, to, like an offense cookout to start off the – the fall camp, so uh, just some little things like that, and just being able to uh, let everyone let everybody know, like my presence on the field is still going to be there, and everything like that. And for both of you guys, with so many young players either starting or in the two deep, what do you tell them this week about trying to prepare them for what it's going to be like inside the Eagles Stadium on Sunday night? Um, well, I'll just say, um, just be mentally locked in, twenty four seven. Um, it's going to be like a, a loud crowd war, but I mean, our preparation that we take um, should be able to handle that. Yeah, I think just keep your head on straight. Don't like try to block out the noise. Like he said, it's going to be loud. It's going to be a little different than just piping in some crowd noise at practice. So uh, handle the situation, handle the elements, and uh, you'll be all right. Mark, as you were making your debut <coughs> last year this time, do you remember having any nerves before you got to the game last year? Um, I mean, it's, it's probably going to always be a little bit of nerves. Just, um, <clears throat> just coming in from high school, it's um, it's a big step, playing in front of like probably a thousand people at the most in my school, to one or two for fifty five. So it's going to be a little nerves, but just like I say, we just got to prepare the same way each practice, and then hopefully that'll handle it. Chris, talk a little bit about how you think you've improved as, as a route runner, considering that. You were not a receiver that much in high school. Um, Cozy, he does like a real good job just teaching us technique. Um, he repeatedly talks about it, and um, that's that's really our main focus is um, breaking points and just getting in and out of routes. When you went to receiver, did you realize, hey, there's more to this position maybe than I thought? Um, yeah, you just um, playing receivers. It's more than just physical; it's also mental. You got to know um, your conversions due to the defense. So. Yes, um, a lot of knowledge to go with it, too. Justin, Coach Jake talked the other day about how he feels like he has more weapons to use on the offense. As a quarterback, how much more comfortable do you feel with the number of guys around you feel like you can get the ball to? Uh, it's awesome to have several tight ends, several receivers, three or four running backs to be able to get the ball out to and get it in their hands. And we have some great playmakers that can, can make plays with the balls in their hands. So uh, it's going to help a lot having these guys around me. We were younger last year at the skill position. Um, maybe not a running back. We had Rajon Neal, who was a senior, and Marlon, who's had some experience as well. But definitely out wide, we didn't have much experience. We were working with a bunch of true freshmen. So having them in the in their second year of their uh, of their development and understanding of the offense is helping a lot. Justin, talk about the progress of Ethan Wolf at tight end and what he brings to the table. Uh, Ethan's a, a big guy. He's probably six five, six six. Um, he, he's physical. He, he runs good routes. He's got good hands. So uh, I don't know if you can say uh, many bad things about Ethan. He's done a great job. Came in early, uh, got in the offense quick, and, and has really developed. Just what are your thoughts uh, going against Daniel Gray? Uh, don't have too many memories thrown against him. That was a little while back, but. Uh, I mean, I'm excited for the opportunity. I'm excited to, to kick the season off. Justin, how late do you know Chuck Keaton? Do you wouldn't know him at all? Uh, we met at the Manning camp. Uh, we spoke uh, here and there. Uh, I don't really know him too much outside of that, though. Did you talk about this game at all? A little bit. Not not too much, though. Uh, I've watched some film on him. He's, he's a tremendous athlete, good runner, throws the ball well, too. So. Uh, I mean, he's definitely gonna gonna make things hard for us, but I think everybody's ready and excited. Justin, they've uh, been one of the best teams as far as defensive pass efficiency. When you look at the film on them, what do you kind of see? And I think about half of their starters are returning. Yeah, uh, 
They're they're a really good defense. They're very very sound in, in their coverages. They they don't uh, ma too often. They're, you can tell they're very well coached. Um, looking at their roster and stuff, they they've lost a few guys in their secondary, um, so they're they're a little unproven there. But uh, overall, they've got a pretty solid defense. Anybody else? A little bit about the way uh, Alton Howard has worked his way into the starting rotation after missing spring break. Yeah, uh, uh, Pig did a great job of um, meeting requirements that we set for him coming back. Uh, he, he did take the, the spring off, had, had some personal issues, but has really come back and has been a tremendous asset for our football team. He makes makes guys around him better. He makes, makes me look better. Um, just his work ethic and everything has been um, over and beyond what it was before, and you can see that he, he really wants to to make him make a name for himself and prove himself again. Marquez, Mark, do you think you helped Alton Howard uh, when he came back? Did you talk to him, work with him about his progress, his work ethic, and so forth? I mean, um, Pig always had a great work ethic. Um, during the spring, it was just a different situation. Just like Justin said, he was going through some things. But um, now that he's come back, it's just a great competition. Me and him push each other every day, and then as a result, we're all getting better. Guys, what's your expectations, not just for yourselves, but for the team as well this season? Uh, I mean, I think we can su surprise some people this year. Uh, I think we're really talented, even though we are young. Uh, an insane number of young guys on this team. Uh, and being a senior, it, it I mean, you'd hope there would be more seniors that we could lean on here and there, but uh, I'm excited. I think uh, the sky's the limit for this football team. Justin, through what we've seen in camp, we've seen some playmaking ability out of Ethan Wolf. True freshman, even though he was here in the spring, where is your trust level with him? Because usually the tight end is kind of a, a dump off valve when things break down. And how much do you trust Ethan Wolf? Uh, I trust him a lot. He's done a great job. Came in early. Uh, he's got great hands, like I said earlier. and. Uh, he does everything right, and um, my trust trust level with him is high as well as with uh, some of these other tight ends. They've done a great job as a, as a position group of developing and, and pushing each other. Justin, you said you're more comfortable Two more. this year. Is there any difference in your confidence level now versus maybe this time last fall, or how, how much has that changed? Yeah, I, I think uh, I'm, I'm more confident. Um, last game I played was – the first half of Alabama, but the previous two games, uh, I played probably some of my best football, and I've kind of tried to build on that uh, through spring practice and then fall camp. And uh, Coach Jake's put a lot more in, in my hands uh, in terms of running the offense, and I think my leadership has improved. So, yeah, I'd say my confidence is, is higher. Marquez, you led the team in, in receiving last year, but you had the one touchdown against Georgia, and that was it. What do you what do you got to do to be more productive in the red zone to, to make yourself a bigger target? And was that something you focused on in the offseason? Oh yeah, we um, Coach Jones harps like winning the red zone. We do a lot of um, a lot of red zone plays at practice. So just like I said, I prepare myself each week the same way. i um, just go out there, give them all, and hopefully success. Hey guys.